In tonight's Health Watch, British, British scientists have discovered a new compound that finds and kills superbugs, the potentially fatal infections that antibiotics can't treat. Tens of thousands of people from around the world die from superbugs each year. CBS News correspondent Ian Lee reports from Sheffield, England. And this is the compound being separated. It may not look like much, but an arms race is underway in this lab, pitting man against germs. And how concerned should we be about superbugs? The way it's going, it's like a freight train coming towards us and we're not doing anything. Superbugs are bacteria like E. coli and MRSA that evolved to resist current antibiotics. Health officials predict they could kill more than 10 million people a year by 2050, putting patients at risk of deadly infections during everyday procedures. Imagine uh, very common operations like hip replacement, knee replacements, things like childbirth will become a, a major medical problem. But scientists at England's University of Sheffield say there's hope. PhD student Kirsty Smitten accidentally discovered a potential superbug breakthrough while researching cancer-fighting drugs. We didn't know if it would work on bacteria and then we just suddenly got a hit and it did work. So. It was a bit of a surprise. This experimental compound nicknamed Ruru is the latest weapon in their arsenal. These microscopic images show how it successfully attacks, infiltrates, and kills superbugs. This is victory. Yeah, so there it's breached, the cell membrane. So far, they've tested their discovery on insects. The work is costly and time-consuming, and human trials are still years away. If it makes it free clinical trials, then yeah, there's no reason why it couldn't save as many lives as penicillin has saved. And if approved, it'll keep doctors one step ahead in the war against superbugs. Ian Lee, CBS News, Sheffield, England. Researchers say if all goes well, this new drug could be in your local pharmacy or hospital in the next decade.